Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Tianat. I hope you all are well. So let's start today's video. So today I will be making this fish. So I was really looking forward to make this fish and I was excited to get this mold from Temu. So the main part is that I bought the UV resin by J Diction and I was really really highly recommended by you people to buy it and this is a high viscosity UV resin. So let's start. So this is my first time using J Diction uh, resin. I haven't used their resin before but I am using their UV resin. So it comes in a bottle of three. I bought this from Amazon and I will link it in my description. So I have a discount code for you for if you want to buy the resin from J Diction and I will be using this resin. Uh, I have was so much recommended by everyone to use your UV resin since I did the UV uh, the water drops. So everyone was telling me that that this resin is really good so I have to try it and I had to buy it. So I'm just setting up everything and let's adding start to add the drops so i was thinking of different style in my mind how i will be making this fish but i am going with my normal drops that i do so just note that this mold is on a bit curved side because there is a depth in this mold and what i can see that the drops are holding their shape and they are on but the i'm spot. doing the normal drops here so since the water drop effect has been out i was i was suggested to use a fish and make a tropical colorful fish and it will be look amazing so i was so excited and i was looking for the mold but i couldn't find any and i didn't do it but to my surprise i found this on tamu so you never know what you can find on different places so i'm just adding the drops and curing it as i go so far i like the resin and uh, there is no smell to it that's i am happy about so i bought this chameleon powder one thing I want to tell you is that I buy the chameleon powder that are meant for nails because I think they are highly pigmented and other than that I have seen let's resin chameleon powders they are really highly pigmented so I really love using both of them so these colors do come in a teeny tiny pot but a little mica goes a long way so I really love these so I'm pouring the resin out because I want to make different sizes for the dots. Some smaller and some big to give that natural look. So with the dotting tool I will be adding the drops. So I added a drop into the center only and after that I cured it under the UV light around two times. From the front and from the back both. And after that now is the fun part i have settled i am setting up all my chameleon powders i'm using chameleon mica and chameleon flakes just to create that interesting effect So this is really always the fun part. I really like to apply the chameleon flakes by uh, my fingers because it I think it well this way. So I will be using all the chameleon powders and ch uh, chameleon mica. So you just enjoy the process.
so i do get this question that what i do with the mica that's inside the mold i do dust it off or blew it outside or sometimes i just tap it into another mold but i do clear it because otherwise it will be uh, so mixing now it for into the, the black i will be taking my tamu resin and mixing uh, both parts equally and after that i will be adding the black pigment to the resin So I actually bought some more Tamu resin because I really liked it. I was asked that if I buy this resin again, so I did bought it again. So here I mix my resin and I'm adding to the fish now. So fingers crossed that I have mixed enough resin. So slowly I'm just pouring it into the mold because there are places that are really slim. So I really don't want to overdo it. So I'm checking out the corners and pouring all my resin in it. So I will leave it to cure and see you next day. So this is the next day and it's all been cured. I'm so excited to demold it and let's see how it turned out. Okay, one thing I love is about this resin is that I did, don't see the circles on the mold. That's something really, really different. And this is how the fish looked. And I really can't say anything because you can't go wrong with this technique. It's so simple and effective and I love it. So what I will be doing different to this is I will be adding some gold foil because it's looking a bit simple to me i'm making a tropical fish here so i am giving it a bit of some effects so i will be using the gilding paste so in this case i will be using the gilding glue by papio and i'm highlighting the eye as well with the black paint So here I'm using the gilding glue onto the fins because I want to highlight them by not overdoing the gold and just giving that extra touch. So after adding the glue, I will leave it to dry. And meanwhile, I will be making these drops 3D. So this was again suggested to me by a kind, kind follower. And I did mention their name in my previous video where I did that 3D effect. So this was recommended by them. And I really love that effect. I really couldn't do them on coasters since I need to have them flat. So this is going to be a, dec be a decoration. So I'm making the drops 3D here. By making this effect 3D, it creates a beautiful illusion. I really like it.
so very carefully i'm adding the resin and i'm so happy that the resin is high viscosity and it's not moving a lot So I'm just curing all the drops now. So after doing the 3D drops, my glue has been dried, but this is the second day. And so now it's all dried and sticky. And now I'm, I will be applying the gold mirror foil onto the fins. And after adding the golden foil, I thought I'll just add some drops of this gold paint onto the fish to make it a bit more tropical. So after adding all the details, I wanted to show you that I did make this a functional art. I did use a UV resin and I added some jump rings on both sides of the fish. And then added this string and some beads. Cured it under UV lamp and it's all done and is a functional wall decor now. So I'm just showing you that what I did here. So this is how I finished it by adding some wood beads to the knots to cover it up. So let's see how the fish turned out. So this is how it turned out. I really love it and the 3D effect of the drops and then the golden drops. Everything just add a beauty to this fish and then the chameleon powders and the chameleon flakes. Everything here is just amazing. I really like it. So here I'm just showing you how it looks if it's hanged. So it's a lovely art decor piece and you can make it in any color i really love how the how it how it turned out and and you all suggested me to use the uv resin i am really loving this resin and i have discount code available so i will be linking it in my description please do check out and and i got this beautiful idea from one of you to make a fish and i'm really happy about it so thank you for that as well so that's it for today so I hope you like it and if you did please do let me know in comments and also please like subscribe and share thumbs up if you like the video and if you haven't subscribed please consider do so and take good care of yourself. Bye bye.